Hello everyone, I'm Yolanda Soto Lopez from the Opcast channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so, that way you never miss a new video. If you see anything you like, be sure to hit that like button, put any comments below, and let's get the party started! Hello everyone, today I wanted to show you how to make a simple edge and you could use this for different uh, projects, the edges of a bottom of a sweater, shirt. You could even uh, do this separately and then sew it on to um, like uh, kitchen towels or things like that. So to begin, this pattern is a repeat of six stitches, meaning you have the multiple of six chains plus two at the uh, end. So here I'm just going to do two repeats to show you how to do it. So I'm going to start by doing 12 chains and then adding two more for 14. So here to do the chain, I'm just going to start with a little slip loop. Get, get here. And you can use whatever uh, hook size or uh, you want as long as it is appropriate for the uh, type of yarn. So here I'm going to go ahead and do my 14 chains. Remember you just yarn over then pull through your loop to do your 14 chains. So here, okay, here I have my 12 chains and then I'm going to do two more, 13, 14. So now here to begin my edge, um, edging here, I'm going to do a single crochet beginning in the second chain from the hook. Remember this doesn't count as a chain so this is one, two. Here I'm going to put in my hook without yarning over. There'll be two loops. I'll pull through one and that's my first stitch. And now here I'm going to do two more single crochets in each of the next one. So here's and one in each of the next two. So here's one and then two. So now I have a total of three single crochets. Okay, so here I have one, two, three single crochets. Now here I'm going to go ahead and chain one, two, three, four, five. So here's one, two, three, four, five. And then these chains here, I'm going to skip one chain, leave it without working here. And then in the next chain here, I'm going to do a single crochet to anchor my little loop here. Just like that. So now it just looks just like this. And now I'm going to do one, two, three, four more single crochets. So one single crochet in each of the next four. So here's one. Two, let me get some more yarn, three, and four. So I have a total here of five single crochets in between my loops. Once again then now I'm going to go ahead and do my five chains, one, two, three, four, five, skip one chain here, and then I'm going to do one single crochet in the three remaining. So skip that one. Here's one, two, and then three. The last one is in the last chain of my repeats. And see if I can get that in there. Okay, so this is my first row. Okay, so my first row is done, and so I have these little loops here. To go up to my second row, I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn my work over, and then here, I'm going to go ahead and single crochet in the next stitch. And now here, I'm going to start working some single crochets and picot stitches inside of this little loop. So here, I'm going to go into my loop here, single crochet, and then I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, single crochet into that loop, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet back into that loop and I'm going to repeat this until these little peaks here, I have two right now, I want to have five of them. So I'm going to repeat that three more times, one, two, three, single crochet into my loop, let me scoot these over a little bit, one, two, three, single crochet into the loop. So now let me see here. One, two, three, four, chain three again. One, two, three. This is the fifth one. Single crochet into my loops. So here I'm getting this little design just like that. A little loop with these little uh, peacock stitches. Now here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to skip 
my next uh, single crochet and I'm going to single crochet in the following stitch here in the center to anchor this down just like this and now I'm going to go ahead and do repeat what I just did here going into oh, one more single crochet excuse me right there and now my single crochet in here and then repeat my five little peaks again just like this so once again one two three single crochet so that's my first set three chains one two three single crochet again so that's my second little peak chain three one two three single crochet that's the third peak chain three one two three single crochet into the peak there I think that's four let me see one two three four one more time one two three chains single crochet and then I'm going to single crochet in my last two stitches one and two so remember so then this is let me put it on the table and let me get closer so you can see what that looks like so your edges it's just going to be like this like little holes and then your little peacock stitches so here just making five sets inside of this separated by two sets two single crochets here and then the end and the beginning in the beginning and the end you have two single crochets and then you start working your little uh, loops two single crochets your loops two single crochets at the end so this is just a uh, I just did a repeat of two of the patterns uh, to repeat but you can make it as long as you need remember that the stitch um, pattern is a multiple of six stitches plus two at the end to make your turns and then you're just going to repeat that all the way across I hope you'll be able to use this little edging for maybe um, maybe some dish cloths a shawl something else that you would really like and um, just as long as you do your repeats of six chains uh, it'll all work out I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and remember always that God loves you.